here in Pimacesso, Florida today. And we're going to be eating some fresh blue crabs. And they make delicious crabs here, so we're going to go ahead inside and enjoy ourselves. This is a steamed blue crab, one of my favorite dishes. And in case you've never eaten it, a lot of people don't know how to eat these. There's a little bit of technique to it. And first of all, I prefer a male crab. And the way you can tell it's a male, if you flip it over. This is uh, Old Bay seasoning on here. This makes it very spicy. But if you look on the back of the male crab, has comes to a point here. It's almost like a tab versus a female, which I don't have right in front of me, but it has more of a large plate. So first thing you do, I usually take a knife, get under that little plate or little um, tab, pop that open. These are very hot a lot of times, so be careful. Don't burn your hand. And what you want to do is just take this whole front off. See the steam coming out. That's coming right out. You want to see the inner workings of this crab. I'm going to just take the whole top plate like so and just throw it in your bucket. You don't need that. This is the messy part. And then inside we have this is yellow. Some people call this a mustard. You don't want to eat that. These are actually gills. Some people call them the lungs. You want to just peel that away. You don't want to eat that. It's not meat at all, it's just non-edible. So, take your knife. Okay, the next thing I usually do is I actually crack the whole thing in half. So, you can see on the back, so basically here's the halfway mark. I usually just flip them like so. And he's pretty big, so I'm going to do it this way. Crack right in half, you can see the steam. And then you just tackle this half at a time. Some people like to take the uh, claw first. This has a lot of good meat, but if you look on here closely, this is a really good crab meat here. It's really white. I like it. And just take that, for instance, you can see that. Mmm, great. Okay, let's just work on the claw here first. It's a lot of joints to the claw. Crack it open. And then I like to use weapon of choice, tool of choice. Cracker. You get these in the grocery store a lot of times in the seafood department. Usually a restaurant will have them just ask. And you always need to be careful to see these sharp points. That will cut. <laughs> and that will hurt. <laughs> and that'll leave a mark. So I just try to avoid, you know, pushing your finger on those. Let's see if we get this around here. I'll just crack that open. And the palm meat's a little bit darker, as you can see. But very delicious. This is a very good crab. It's very fresh. There's no smell, no uh, fishy smell. <laughs> Which I wouldn't eat it. It's not dry. If it's really dry or has a uh, strong smell, don't eat a crab. But this one's very fresh. Okay, and then this is the last part of the bowl. It's cracking it open. Some juice in there, so that's why it's important to wear a bib. It's very messy. And once again, you can see the meat. can just actually use this like a handle. Mmm, so good. <laughs> okay, last pork. Just crack open the body. And this you can just, you know, be creative. I'm just going to show you the one part here on this one. Finish up. See all this white meat? Basically, you can just take your fingers and get in there as much as you can. It has a lot of really good white lump crab meat. Delicious. Enjoy. And I'm here in sunny Florida today. And this is multi island over here. This is an awesome place to eat crabs. Look outside at the river with boats. So, bon appetit. Enjoy your crabs. <laughs>